Hey everyone, it's Rochelle here with Losing It on Keto. And in this um, video, what I am going to do is I'm going to make um, breakfast burritos. So this is actually the third time I'm making them. Um, I made two in one uh, go around and now I'm remaking them based on what I've learned. And I'll probably, I, I filmed all of it, but I'll probably scrap, scrap the first two. Um, so the first time I made these, I uh, bought egg life wraps. And while I did use that for the burrito, I found it a little thick and a little more difficult to roll and therefore to complete the step that I'll, I'll show you. Then I made homemade uh, crepes into Gonili's recipe, and that worked better, but I found a difference um, in, in the texture a little bit, but, but it works, and they're great. Both of them are great, actually, but this time I'm going for perfection here. So what I have whipped up is I have three recipes of Indigo Neely's tortilla, um, egg white tortilla. So I'm going to try and make this make this work, and I'm hoping because I did homemade, I can get a thinner result than um, the egg life wraps. So I've got the, and I've been debating whether to use nonstick spray or not. I think I'm going to because I'm intending to make these bigger because I want a bigger surface for um, for the filling and to, and to roll them and complete the last step, which I'll explain. So I'm just wondering if this is a little too thick and if I should add a little bit of water to this to thin it out. Because I'm wondering if this will give me the same result as the egg wrap. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to add, and I'll measure this to be precise here. So I'm going to use a tablespoon. So there's one tablespoon. Let me take a look. I think I'm going to do two, table, two additional tablespoons of water from uh, Neely's recipe. Just to thin it out a little bit, but not to go as far as a, uh, as a crepe. Okay, that's a little better, and I'm hoping that's going to do the trick here. <clears throat> All right, so let's get to making these. So I'm intending for this batter to make six large ones. Okay, I can tell you that this is better. This is what I was going for. So a little bit, you know, a, a, a thickness that's in between a crepe and the egg life wrap. So I was going for a tortilla type uh, thickness and then a large tortilla size. So I think this does it. All right, let me take this one off. All 
Okay, guys, back in this segment. Um, I've got the pan heating. We got all the tortillas made, all six, the larger ones. Um, what I have here is one egg and three egg whites. So that's one egg and 138 grams of egg whites, which I use carton. Then I've got three uh, cut up uh, Amy Lou breakfast sausages. And I will tell you, you can make this filling your own, whatever uh, suits you. Um, the time I made it before, I used extra lean uh, ground chicken uh, breast. And I did a, a pound of that because I made, I made a lot. I made 14. Um, and I used uh, my breakfast sausage seasoning on that. So make this any way, any way you like. So I'm going to go ahead and add the egg mixture here. I sprayed some nonstick spray in the pan. So we'll go ahead and scramble these up. If you guys remember when I made the scrambled eggs and toast, I did a one egg to three egg white ratio and that, that worked out very well. But if you're following just a keto, not a PSMF, or it's a keto day, well, you can make this with all eggs, whole eggs. Okay, and remember the Amy Lou uh, sausage is already cooked, so we're just heating that here. So throw that in. All right, now I got a bowl for this mixture, and I've got 28 grams of cheese, and use whatever cheese you want. Um, I've got a Parmigiano Reggiano. Is it Parmigiano Romano? No, Parmigiano Reggiano. That's what I've got. I was going back and forth between which cheese I was going to use. All right, so let me take this off. And I'll come back in the next segment for us to uh, fill these. Okay guys, back in this segment. Now we're gonna fill these and then we're gonna seal them. So here's my first two. And I've got the egg mixture here. I added some salt and pepper. And then I've got the cheese here that I'm gonna add. And then I'll tell you what this is for here in a second. much filling here. Okay, so I'm going to push the filling to the sides here. And I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on. You know, I'm just going to add the cheese to the bowl here. Go ahead and get that incorporated. Okay, now I'm going to roll these up. And I've got my pan heated on high. So I'm going to fold this up, then I'm going to fold the sides in. Then I'm going to finish rolling this. Okay. Uh, let me do that again.
All right, so I'm going to tuck the sides in. Roll this up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this paintbrush with water. I'm going to paint the seal with water. Because what we're going to do is we're going to steam this to seal it. So I'm doing both sides here. Oops. Okay. Now I'm going to put this down. And you hear that sizzle? That's to steam it. Steam it closed. And it should brown it nicely. Now we'll do this next one. And I think that first one was a little too thick because it had the thickness of the egg-like wraps, which was the same trouble I ran into when I bought those. Now, like I said, it still works. I was just looking to make this easier. Okay, same thing. So you see how that, that browned it? Ideally, I wanted this sealed too. We'll see if the ones that, um, it's no big deal if it's not. I just wanted it to be perfect. But what happened with the egg life wraps is I wasn't able to seal um, the ends because they were too thick. And I think this was a little thick. And I made them thinner as I went. You see what I mean? This was a little bit thinner. You see how all of that's sealed? So there you go. And I'm going to leave it on this side for just a minute or so longer. Okay. See that? How nice, totally sealed, how nice. Okay, get the next ones here. I made them gradually um, less and less like a, like a circle as I, as I went along. See, these are a perfect, I think are a perfect uh, thickness. Okay. 
get that tucked in. There we go. I wonder if I should have made the um, made eight the, the recipe for indigo neelys um, tortilla wraps made four recipes rather than three, and then make six out of that. So that I could have these as large as I want, but the thickness that, that I want, not too thick, not too thin. So like I had said, between an egg life wrap and a crepe, like a tortilla thickness. So I'm going to finish uh, these and I'll be back. This is, this is excellent, and that breakfast sausage seasoning just comes through, and there's no flavor lost by the ratio of the egg whites to the egg. There's plenty of flavor here. The cheese doesn't overwhelm at all, so I really like this. Okay, guys, there you go.
Okay guys, they're all made. So, there you have it. PSMF breakfast burritos. These are fantastic, by the way, you guys. And then if you're wondering how I store them, well, it depends on how I'm gonna, how quickly I'm gonna consume them. They fit beautifully in here. So I'll store them. If I'm just gonna consume them immediately, so I just store them in the refrigerator uh, like that. And then these others that I made, a couple things I wanted to share. So this was made with the egg life wrap. So as you can see, the sides don't seal, the, the, the ends don't seal, but as I said, it's fine. I just was um, trying to get the ends to, to seal to, to show that to you. So those are the ones I have remaining from the egg life wrap. And then, and there's others in there for that. And then they're frozen. They're all frozen together here. Let me take this out. I can, they'll easily come apart. But these are the ones that I made with the, with the crepe recipe, uh, recipe from Indigo. So as I said, I was looking just to thicken that up a little bit and you'll see I, I did that. So I have, hopefully it's coming across, I have a cross between the egg life wrap and the crepe and what I just made with the tortilla and that's what I was going for. So, um, so if I freeze these, like I have these here, um, then these resealable bags are just, are fantastic and I put them in the freezer. So there you guys have it. Um, oh, oh wait, before I wrap up the video, I wanted to share with you. So two of these for me are a, are a meal and I wanted to give you the, um, the macros on these. So, and once again, this will all be in the um, video description, but just to close out the video, um, what I just made is a hundred and so two of these are 191 calories, 28 grams of protein, seven grams of fat, uh, one total carb, no net carbs with a 3.5 protein to energy ratio. Now, one other thing I wanted to share is um, you'll save about three grams of fat if you do the, what I had mentioned, the um, extra lean ground chicken and using the breakfast seasoning versus these uh, sausages here. And the sausages I'm using are the ones I got at my local store, the ones that have a little bit less, less, uh, less fat. Okay? So there you guys have it. Um, and those uh, macros I just gave you are for two. So what I just made were, were three servings, okay? So there you guys have it. Um, PSMF breakfast burritos. And if you want, you know, this is an easy enough recipe that you can, you know, uh, make these for any way of eating that you're following. It's all about the, it's all about the filling. So if you're doing keto, well, you can use whole eggs and you can use cheese, et cetera, more cheese than what I did, et cetera. Okay. Um, if you wanted, you can even add a little, uh, keto friendly syrup, uh, to these and, or you could have that when you, when you reheat them. Um, and so for me, by the way, if, um, I put them on auto defrost on the microwave for just a minute to reheat them. But if you're not a fan of the microwave, you can put them in the oven at 400 for um, 18 to 20 minutes out of the freezer. Um, you could put them in the air fryer, uh, certainly less time than the oven, uh, probably just a couple of minutes. Um, but anyways, there you have it, guys. Uh, protein sparing, modified fast, high protein, low fat, low carb, uh, breakfast burritos whose filling you can make your own. Okay. 
that'll do it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.